Now, a group of U.S. senators, they've unveiled a bipartisan bill that authorizes the U.S. administration to rein in technology products viewed as threats to national security, with a particular focus on Chinese-owned TikTok. This news might not sound good for TikTok lovers in the United States, but the Senate feels it is important to preserve national security. This bill, named the Restrict Act, is among the few which brought both Republicans and Democrats in consensus. It authored... It is authored by Senate Intelligence Committee Chairman Mark Warner and Republican Senator John Thune. The bill gives the Commerce Department more powers to ban TikTok, new powers to ban TikTok, in fact, and several other foreign-based technologies if they are found to pose a threat to national security. For a number of different reasons. One is that we lack, at this moment in time, a holistic interagency, whole-of-government approach. So instead of playing whack-a-mole on... Huawei one day, ZTE the next, Kaspersky, TikTok. We need a more comprehensive approach to evaluating and mitigating these threats posed by these foreign technologies from these adversarial nations. With that in mind, I'm proud to stand here with some of our co-sponsors um, on the Restrict Act, which will give the President, and more specifically the Secretary of Commerce, new authorities to mitigate the threats posed by technology products from adversarial nations. I've long been concerned about how uh, every social media company uses the data it collects from users, and I've introduced a number of bipartisan pieces of legislation to bring more transparency to big tech. But I'm particularly concerned about TikTok's connections to the Ch Chinese Communist Party, which repeatedly, repeatedly spies on American citizens. Now the White House has welcomed the bill. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that the bill would empower the United States government to prevent certain foreign governments from exploiting technology services in a way that poses risk to American sensitive data and national security. The bill, if passed, will apply to operating systems from China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, Venezuela and Cuba. So TikTok concerns me in, for a number of different reasons. One is the, the data that they have. Secondly is the algorithm and the control. Who has the algorithm? Third is the, the broad platform. Influence operations, as we talked about previously, it's not only the fact that you can influence something, but you can also you know, turn off the message as well when you have such a, a large population of, of listeners. But TikTok criticized the bill saying that it will prevent sharing of American culture and values with its users around the world. TikTok is owned by Chinese company ByteDance and is used by more than 100 million Americans. With the bipartisan support in the Senate and the endorsement from the White House, the chances of the bill passing in the Congress, it's increased significantly. TikTok is already banned from U.S. government devices. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.